and then sort of had that going on, we, we did have an advisor or a steering committee. And those steering committee members, and also some of our key players, they've moved up the ladder. And so, for example, in Indonesia, um, Dr. Hassil Sendering is someone who was on our steering committee for eight years in IRRC, but now he's a very important player in terms of policy and trying to achieve um, a, a very stretched goal of, of production and, and food security in Indonesia. And he is in constantly in contact with us. And, and if we go there and don't drop in and see him, if we know he knows we're in Jakarta, then he'll be a bit annoyed with us. And, and that's very important. So it's those, some of those things are just builds. And, so, and similarly, with the, our main counterparts, they've gone up as well. So that's part of it. The other part, too, is also reinvigorating that, in that you know, we've got someone in Vietnam who's a, a very important colleague, and he'll be retiring in 12 months. So we need now to look at the next generation. And we do that through the training that we do, through the training courses that we run here at Erie for your training centre, is making sure that we do have the next generation being exposed to what we're doing. And so it's, it's a number of different elements. How that stacks up across the different consortia, I'm not sure. One quick one from there. Maybe a comment. Well, it's just a chance to comment on that. And I, think, I mean, certainly I, I'd agree that um, having local champions is, um, is very important. But I think you know, one, of, one of the sort of key ingredients for a successful um, operation within a country is actually allowing ourselves to operate within the agenda of partners. So that's actually having an honest you know, meta-analysis um, where we actually ask the question, well, you know, what do you need? Um, you know, I think um, certainly Mel and I sort of, you know, we know what we're talking about when if we hear a NAS partner say, we are fed up with projects. Because if they come with an agenda, um, it's not necessarily going to match the priorities of national, of national programs. And I think that is a, a while, while people will tolerate that, Nothing, you know, nothing uh, interests people more than, than others coming to them and saying, what can we help you with? And I think you know, we do have an opportunity to do that because we're a very broad-based organisation. So I think what David's saying is that we've got to be good listeners. And what we certainly do in country with Corrigap is we, we come behind our main uh, coordinators in country. We're there to support them and raise their profile. Yeah, Fred, that's all we've got time for today, so thank you all for attending, and please join me in thanking Grant for sending us.